Hello Zebrahurd, in today's episode of Splatoon 3, we tried the Splushomatic. Let's see if we can squash our enemies and stack up some wins. Okay, so here's the Splushomatic. It comes with the Curling Bomb and the Ultra Stamp. It is a super low range weapon, but has high damage and high fire rate. So this should be good for things like Turf War and stuff. Beyond that, we'll have to get close to our enemies using that Curling Bomb. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but we'll switch over to the uh, practice area and take a closer look. So like I said before, the sploosh manic has a low range, but has like this wide coverage. So we can just sort of go out here, cover a lot of stuff really quickly. But when it comes to actually hitting opponents, like we can only go about here before the range adds up. And like that's, that's all we can do. So we can also, of course, for the curling bomb, they get closer to people, then as we're moving closer, spot them a lot more. And then finally, once we're close enough, instead of hitting them with the sploosh matic we hit them with this thing. Which I don't know if we've used this too much in multiplayer, but it's a lot of fun. And once we're done with it, we just toss it to somebody. It's a really cool set of um, gear here. I guess a kit that I like a lot. So definitely, I hope we do well here with the Splush Matic. We'll do one or two rounds as Turf War, then we'll try maybe Splat Zones or Rainmaker and see how those go. So our first round here is Eel Tail Alley. It's funny that we're finally getting this after six rounds of Mahi Mahi Resort last episode. But I think after this one, we might change our gear up a little bit. But finally, we'll be able to try Eel Tail Alley today, you know, cover up some of this stuff, for sure. Especially after the last round I played in the last episode, you know, nobody really covered crucial parts of the map, even though we had like decent coverage weapons on our team. So that was a little deflating. I wanna make sure that doesn't happen this time, especially with a weapon that is so tailored to just covering the map with ink. That's why it'd be great for splat zones too, which is why we might try that soon. But I think that the game modes are about to change. But let's focus on this round that we're doing. I don't see anybody. Okay, wait, here you are, here you are. I might be in trouble. They backed out. You know, we're going with the hammer. Um, that was maybe a regrettable choice. We'll see. Um, oh, I got somebody. Nice. I didn't even know they were there. <laughs> oh, man. We're causing some major problems. So I'm just going to toss it over there now. And Oh, hello. There you are. Oh, we got them. I can't believe that. But they have their friend coming up. And we got them too. Man, we're going crazy right now. So hopefully our teammates are doing good over this way. I do see another player over here that we probably want to deal with. Um, unless somebody else can get them. But there's still a ton of stuff over here I need to deal with too. But it looks like somebody got them, so that's good. Ooh, and we do got our hammer again if we want to get out there and start causing more problems. Um, well, I see you over here, and you don't quite see, see me. So, huge advantage, huge opportunity. Can't get up from over here. Oh, you know what? Oh, no way, they got me, they're gonna use theirs? <laughs> that's not what I wanted. I probably feel so good about that one. Unfortunate for me though. I'm gonna jump over and maybe regret this. The more I'm coming in, the more I'm thinking I will. I thought there was somebody over there, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes I don't know why I jump. Every, I feel like not every time, but maybe like more than half the times. It doesn't end in our favor. Okay, get you a little bit. If that's another thing. I feel like this thing actually does have an advantage over sometimes like splat brushes and stuff, because with splat brushes, you need to get in close. But with this, as long as you can maneuver it just right, you could probably splat them first. So let's cover this stuff, because this is still stuff that our team has yet to cover, when they really should have. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, oh, if I turned around faster, that one was a little bit frustrating, because it was entirely my own fault, but come on, come on, let's get back up. There's still more stuff here on our own base that nobody's covered. I mean, I know that I'm like the splatting weapon person right now, but, or the turf coverage weapon, but I'm not the only one. Okay, oh no, you don't, no you don't. Gotcha. Gonna get over here. Ah, and there's just too many of them. There's all three of the rest of the team here. So I can only hope that our team is getting some stuff done on the other spots. That's where it can be a little bit weird, right? Is that you just, you can only do so much as one player, right? Come on, gotcha. Ah, no, it's just every single time I try to get one, the rest of them are sticking together as a group super duper well, and our team just is not doing the same. So trying to do my best here. But yeah, it shows you, you can do super well in the first minute or two of turf war, and it doesn't always matter. I got you, that's good. I'm just trying to cover what I can, and maybe we'll make a difference, just maybe, I don't think so, but we'll see if that's enough to maybe push it to our advantage, but you know, like I was saying, you can do super duper well, perfectly well, and the first minute of turf war, and it hardly matters. That last minute, when the team comes together, that's all that matters, so paying attention to what your team's doing and making um, decisions based off of that is so, so important. So, not gonna, you know, 
sort of fall in our favor this time. A little unfortunate, we'll try again next round. But still, our first one with the sploosh matic I'm very impressed with the weapon. We could definitely get some good spots there as long as we play it safe and we pay attention to the range at which we're shooting people. And we got 1,300 points here for covering turf. Like, really good stuff, for sure. So we'll change our gear just because I would like to do something else. You know, we did this one a little bit last episode. What do we want to equip? Lots of options. I definitely want to level something up, so. Hmm. 20 seconds, got to decide quick. Uh, oh, I like this hoodie, that's a cool one. And we'll go with shoes, I think. Oh, these boots, there you go, that's a pretty cool setup. And we can level those up plenty enough. So let's get back to it. I think we need to go get some more food tickets soon. So maybe after this round, we'll switch to, to ranked. Um, and we'll also eat a food ticket, if I remember. Okay, so we're back on Eel Tail Alley again. This time I'm super focused, covering up all the turf right away. I think it's gonna be important so I don't have to worry about it at that last minute. We can focus on splatting the enemy. That'd be way better for me, in my opinion. So, let's get out there and just start covering. Especially this whole corner was untouched and I was sort of panicking trying to get it. But it looks like our teammates are on top of it too this time, which is fantastic. So, that's what we like to see. Because like I said last round, that last minute is so important. I forgot we had the crowing bomb. <laughs> I'm used to the auto bomb. Whoa, hey, okay, hold on. You know what, we're going for you. We are gonna splat you one way or another, right? Maybe not, I'm gone. See, I got one person, good enough, right? And then turn around, throw this at you and miss you entirely, but. Whoa, hey, <laughs> okay, found them. Oh man, we need to clear up this area a little bit, but we're fine. But like I said, last round, we, uh. We really needed to focus on just splatting people and working as a team in that last minute, but we really couldn't even do that because there was stuff like this to still deal with. So, getting it done now is so huge. Look at this whole spot over here. This is tons of percentage for us, so. And there's some spots up there that I missed. I can't really get to those now, but. Oh, and I see you. You don't seem to see me, but my aiming is not where it needs to be. Okay, I do have the Octo Stamp again, or whatever it's called. I don't think it's called Octo. Is it? No, I don't think so. It seems like everybody does. Okay, so before we mess with that too much, let's just get over here, fill all this stuff up. I don't wanna go too far on their side of the base, but there's so much in the mid spot here that we can still handle. Okay, I'm throwing the curling bomb down, and then we're gonna go crazy on you. That worked out pretty well. Tossing that up there, did I get them? I don't think I did, somebody else got them, but you know, hey, the distraction splat. So now we can get out here and go a little bit crazy. They're in danger, so definitely working out really well for us. They have the shield on. That's the one thing you have to be careful, is when you're out this way by their spawn, they're gonna be spawning in with shield. It's still possible to spot them, but it's significantly more difficult. It's usually not worth your time. Uh, so I could just climb up here. Weird spots like this in the map can be easy to mess. Okay, so. I don't think you see me, but I don't think I can reach you with this weapon, so maybe not the most productive to focus on that. Is there anybody over here I can deal with? They don't see me, so I'm gonna be really sneaky about that. And then get you, come on, gotcha, amazing. Okay, so now we're doing really well. Remember, we gotta be careful, I'm trying to protect my teammate here. Cause they're spawning in. I don't know if that was you know, the best place to spawn in. Oh, they got me good. All right, well, I think we're winning this one though with only a few seconds left. We're holding them back. They're trying to get back out there. But... I'll just uh, cover up some extra stuff around here. So I just don't think there's too much more we can do. Whoa, wait a minute. And then get you, maybe. Oh man, that was almost too close. There we go. So two rounds here with the sploosh matic on turf four. Both were amazing. We, we did well both times. But this time we did just that much better to be able to win and keep control of the game. So that's fantastic. And as you can see, we get turf anchor and home base anchor as two of our gold medals, as well as ground traveler. So that was pretty fun. Obviously, the results are pretty predictable here in Turf War, but since we haven't in a while, I wanna do some ranked game modes, try to get ourselves closer to B rank instead of B minus. So that'll be my goal for now. We're gonna hop out of this lobby and switch over to the next one. And also the food ticket, because I don't have any going right now. So, got a lot of points too. So, really good stuff. I think we're just a minute away from the game modes changing though. So we'll see what it ends up changing into. But for right now, let's just buy some, no, not this one, this one. Extra money is great, but I always need the experience more in my opinion. Um, there we go. But it's always good to get something going on. Anyways, is there new game modes? Have they swapped over? Um, it looks like no. It doesn't really give you a timer, I wish it did. 
Either way, we'll try Anarchy Battle and Splat Zones with Hagglefish Market and Brinewater Springs. Splat Zones with the Splusha Matic sounds like a really good idea to me. We'll try it, we have to spend 55 points, but we should be able to jump up more than that if we can just win a couple of games. So, let's get going. Okay, so it looks like our first round of Splat Zones is right over here. So, in, uh, what was it? I already forget the name of it. I was gonna say Eel Tail Alley, but that was the last map. But look at this, we're in control. Exactly what we wanna see, but I did not wanna jump down like this. I sort of made a mistake. Can I get them? <laughs> Almost! Here's the big downside. Look at them, and they're begging to be splatted, but I can't quite reach them. Oh man, that is so silly. But we can just keep our control here, no problem. They're gonna have to jump up here, and then we just keep control of it. I mean, the one splatling is a little scary, but we just sort of, I feel like can sort of meander a little bit between like this spot and up here. Just keep covering it. Whoa, oh no, oh, explosions everywhere. They synchronized that quite well. Couldn't quite get away from that one. It's fine though, if they take it, we take it back, you know? Um, which, right now we're pretty close to stealing it again. So I just wanna run over there super duper quick. I might wanna jump like down here and then throw the curling bomb and then get stuck down here. This is annoying. Okay, come on. Let's get you a little bit, maybe. Or not, or not. Whoa, what am I doing? At least I spotted somebody out of that, but that was so messy. Our teammate has got the uh, zone cleared again. I'm gonna jump to somebody, so if I could just warn you that I'm jumping over, that'd be great. But hey, we're in control of it right now. We can throw that curling bomb. But as we're rushing through with all this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the splosh matic so far? Is this a weapon you've tried? Do you think it's a good one, bad one, somewhere in between? I'd love to hear, but oh my goodness, if I can, you know, splat people without trading, that'd be fantastic. I'm not playing super well this round, but I think it's a great weapon. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the weapons that have a lot of like spraying potential, things like the aero spraying stuff. It's always a lot of fun. How? What? Come on, that was baloney. All right, come on. Gotta get back out there. So far, I'm not really doing too well with my team this round. But this is definitely my own fault, not really the weapons. You definitely need to adopt a different playstyle with a shorter range weapon like this one, but there's somebody back here. It sounded like there was, but I don't think there is. <laughs> okay, they're in control. We need to focus on this. Ah, oh, man, my aim is just not where it needs to be for this situation, because we need to take it and keep it, because they're about to steal our, our leading points. I could just hop down here, wait for a lot of stuff, like, we got that. You're sort of stuck in the corner, so I wanna take advantage of that, then pop this in as much as we can. Get back up here, I see you over here. You're not covering the splat zone for some reason. Uh, this is not turf war. <laughs> what are they doing? No way! Why did they turn around in that exact moment? Come on! Ah, uh, that is maybe actually something to keep in mind, is that the splush matic is a little scary against rollers because they can just do that with your low range. That was ridiculous, I feel so silly. Um, come on, just cover the stuff up. Don't worry so much about splatting, because we can just get up here, cover this stuff up like nobody's business, and just take it. There we go. Um, they lost control, then we turn around on you, and I'm just gonna squish it. How? How? <laughs> come on! <laughs> Not good. It's all right. We can just wait it out. We might just have to regroup as a team. But geez, I feel like we were set to, to hold that one there, and it just it didn't work out. I still think it's good to go over this fight and then get you a little bit. Please don't splat me yet. Ah, what are you doing? Where are you going? There we go, okay, much better. But of course, there was a Booyah Bomb. I just can't do anything without getting splatted immediately after. I mean, two splats is a big deal, and that really definitely helps with our teammates being able to have enough room. But get stuff done. I see you over here, and I got you. Good, keep this point. We need to take this lead back. Covering up some of their ink around here too would be great. Oh no, here we go. Throwing that curling bomb over there, but here comes that splat line, which becomes such a problem. We've taken the lead, excellent. Here comes a, uh, the big booyah bomb is a problem. They got me mid air from that one, oh my goodness. We're still in the lead though. If we could take this back, we'll also have no overcharge to fight through, but guess what, what happened? They took it, so. 50 seconds remaining. This is where things get a bit intense. Definitely, I can see some weaknesses in the weapon though. The rollers are giving us problems, the splatling is a huge issue because I simply just cannot reach them. Oh man, oh man, there's stuff everywhere. We're in control again! No! Oh my gosh! They're in control, we're in control, it's a roller coaster. Get back out there. Okay, while you're close, I need to take this opportunity yet to splat you. Definitely not a position they should be in. 
So I just wanted to make the most of it and then go over here. They thought I ran, but I'm still here. Using that corner to my advantage was huge. With 10 seconds remaining, I think we just hold this and we win. Oh no, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Gotcha, and then you right here. I know you're probably gonna roll out of the way. You're probably the dually player or something. The auto bomb, trying to get me, not enough. We get the win. Okay, so our first Splat Zones round of today's episode was so intense, but we got the win. Was it a knockout or did we get the time? I think we got the time, yeah. So 86 to 75, that really could have gone either way, but somehow we got number one enemy splatter. That's cool. Oh man, crazy stuff there, wasn't it? So glad to get it. Let's see for ourselves how many, we got 11 spots. I think that's been a common amount of spots that we've been getting recently, but our first round here in our Anarchy Battle set is a win. Hopefully we can get four more, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for now, we do actually get some extra gear and stuff unlocked, which is always good too. So we'll stick with this team, go for another round. Let's see if we do a little bit better this time. No Splatlings to fight against, so I'm looking forward to that. Or Roller, so I think this time could go a lot better. I think for right now we need to cover this turf. We're in control like that. Okay, stay away from that though. And then if they hop down, I'm a little stuck in their ink at the moment. Come on, whoa, that was weird. They went right under me. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It was a trade, but our teammates, you know, they're doing stuff, well, we're in the lead right now. So this could end up just being fine. I'll jump to them because it looks like there's not too much of a risk, but as soon as I say that, it's looking a lot more risky. Um, Get up here, there we go. I see all of you guys, and I just run right into their line of fire. That's the one thing you don't want to do with a sploosh matic It is exactly what I did. It's also the splash matic you can see there, is what they have, which is sort of a variant on this weapon. Okay, I want to get back out there as soon as possible. I feel like one thing I do need to use here a little bit more is the curling bomb. It lost the lead, which is super unfortunate. And then I'll try to get up here, splat one of them, splat two of them. Wait, there's a third one. No, you don't. Okay, you know what? You guys are in so much trouble now, because I'm just gonna do this and get somebody. Come on, there we go. Much better. All right, and then toss this maybe right there. Nah, I didn't get anybody. Could have though. Okay, I see you over here. But can I actually get you? Yes, I can. Awesome. So now we're doing a lot better. We have this going on first. If they try to get closest, we just destroy them. This is where I might want to be sneaky. If we have the lead building up, they got the, the crab tank up here. I can't do too much about it from this angle, but I'm just waiting for them to hop down because they will eventually. And once they do, we splat them just like that. And then we splat you. Sometimes playing it slow is so much more advantageous. Gonna do that for now. Then maybe get you if I aim was a little bit better, but somebody at some, I think they rolled into our, our, our rollers <laughs> explosion. I don't know, somebody else got them. Hard to tell, but it's fine. Because we're down to 20, we lost control. If they take this, there's gonna be a lot of reserve to work through, but I don't think they will. I think we just take it back again. And then we can probably win with all that. Um, Where'd they go, where'd they go? Oh, wait, okay, you know, what if we ran? What if we ran? They're gonna go back into control again. Oh, hey, gotcha, sort of. I didn't get splatted though, which is pretty big, because now I can just go with hammer and then start hammering. Here we go. Oh, I get two. Can I get three? I'm doing the wraparound. All right, toss it there. There there you are. Unfortunately, I couldn't get you there, but that's hopefully enough space for the rest of my team. I think it might be. It's hard to tell. Um, nobody's in control at the moment. We just need 12 points left, but the 57 reserve is what's hard about this one. Okay, cover it up. Don't worry about everything else just right now. Focus on that. I still couldn't get it. Oh my gosh. Wow, that stinks. Um... They are really earning through their points right now like nobody's business. So this is where it gets scary. Come on now. I need to toss it over. Jump onto these people maybe. I can't even get over. Um, I need to get out of here and fight you here. Jeez, I feel like you have so much health or something. <laughs> we need to group up. I wish there was a group up, but we have ouch and booyah, but no group up. I thought that would be so helpful. And we have two extra buttons there, left or right. Because sometimes I feel like that's what we really need as a team is just, okay, everybody's sort of going in one at a time and getting taken out. Let's go in together. Let's just wait for everybody to respawn and then go in. Let's jump over to you. So far, it's looking a little scary. They're, they're doing like a full turnaround here, which would be really unfortunate because I feel like we're doing so well for so long, but the range is starting to catch up to me here. Come on, gotcha, that was huge. That's gonna make it a little bit easier for us to win here, maybe. 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're having a battle with this person. You know what, it's time, it's time. We're going. I might get you, I might not. Very frustrating. Ah, oh, come on. We were so close to turning it back around there. I gotta jump to you. I wanna be safer about this. And they're control again. Jeez. Okay, there's some people over here. We need to be able to splash some of these guys, but I can't. This is where the range of the sploosh is really coming back to bite me. I can't win in a scenario like that, so I need to go about it some other way. You can't brute force that. Jeez, that's rough. Okay, if I could though, just be quick about things. Get up here, hop back down, and maybe fight them. There's so much just splashing on my screen, I literally cannot even see. We're in control, that's huge, but keeping it is what's gonna be even bigger. But with 20 seconds left, as long as we can keep that control, we'll win. So yeah, stay up there, cover this stuff up, make it so difficult for them to get over to us. There we go, we lost control, we're back in control, eight seconds remaining, throw that over there. Oh yeah, get the juice, for sure. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. There's some missiles heading towards me, there's a little bit of everything, but we won! Man, two super close rounds. Both of those really pushed us to our limits. But as you can see, we do still get it, 88 to 79. Pretty cool stuff, and we do get number one enemy splatter again, so glad to see that so often. All right, we all have the same pose. Looking cool though, I'm really happy with how things are turning out overall. So we get two ranked wins already. We'll keep going until, you know, hopefully we get all five, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we're on the other map now. Does this one have two spots in spots or one? I think just one. I don't know if that's really too much of a thing in Splatoon 3, but I feel like in previous Splatoon games, we see a lot more Splat or Splat Zones maps that would have more than one spot. Okay, so this map might be even more difficult for sneaking up to the side of people, but we can still do, whoa, okay, never mind. Um, I immediately proved myself wrong. Oh, hello, gotcha, we just wiped out the whole team. Wow, that was amazing. All right then, so we can just take out, I'm gonna take the point there and just hold it. So if someone wants to stay back for me so I can jump over to them, that'd be amazing. And then we just toss one of those over and they're just in huge trouble. Okay, let's dodge out a little bit. We're not gonna go too crazy. We're just going to wait around and, oh no, they're trying to do the same thing to me that they did, I did to them. Ah, I fell. <laughs> okay, unfortunate. Probably should have been a little bit more aware of that, but they lost control. We did gain some lead in that situation, so that's good. And I don't think that strategy is gonna work as easily a second time. So that might've been our chance squandered. We'll see here in just a moment. I'll toss that over. I would like to get up here and then start covering stuff. Let's see, let's see. So far they don't see me. No, they didn't see me and I was just about to pull out my hammer too. Should've done that a moment sooner. I think we would've actually been in a good spot. We're in control though. Our teammates are taking advantage of it. But it's very back and forth. You know what, I might be better just to roll over because this is so back and forth. They're about to take the lead too, but that's, you know, not the end of the world. We'll see. Ah, oh, they got me, no problem there. They just saw me moving. So, not gonna work. You're like, that's the strategy you're supposed to have there is throw the roller out and follow it. But I just thought they just look at you and shoot you. <laughs> you know, you, it's supposed to be the, the response to if somebody has better range than you do, but it doesn't seem to help in that way, in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot covered up over here. I'm gonna try to maybe sneak up on them. I got them, but geez, I just need like one more little ounce of ink on them before they backed up a little bit. I think it would've been fine, but I'm trying to spot them so that my team can take the point. I just don't know if that's really working out in the long run, especially with all these specials coming out every moment. I think I just need to focus on splatting stuff. Ooh, come on, come on. Got you, double! Whoa, I didn't even see the second person. Tossing that back over, just filling up what I can. If I could get the hammer here, it'd be huge. So I'm just trying to get what I can with that. We've taken the lead again. See, this is where if things get scary, I should be good with just using the hammer. I'm waiting for them to pop up on the side. You know, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, somebody got them, that's good. There are still explosions happening everywhere right now. Okay, you lost control, that's where I come in. Maybe, I'm chasing you, I got you. All right, all right, we're turning back around. Oh man, oh wait, no, you're on my team. I don't know why I thought they were the, it looks remember, okay, that's not what I wanted. I forgot you could do that. Whoa, no you don't. Then I see you over here, no, oh whoa, okay. I thought for a second I thought we lost. No, we won, that was amazing.
All right, so a full knockout this time. It was close at first, but once we got the momentum rolling, we kept it going. That first step we had there, that was so cool. We had like a single wipeout, you know, just us going in there and splatting everybody was awesome. So yeah, so far, sploosh matic if you play it right, it is a super duper effective weapon. And that's gonna be our third win in a row here in Splat Zone. So if we can just find a way to win two more, we got ourselves a full five wins and we can get a bunch of points from this. So let's see if it happens. So we're back on Brinewater Springs. I'm a little bit nervous about this because this was a lot harder of a map for us than the previous one. So we'll see how things go this time. Okay, we'll apply everything we've learned in these last couple of rounds and just figure it all out. So I might wanna do my little sneak to the side strategy just for now, just for now. As people are getting in here and heating up, I think we could maybe spot a few people. Yeah, definitely get a full team wipe out. Booyah. And then cover up their stuff so that I have the hammer nice and ready for when they come back with a vengeance. Cause it's, it's gonna happen. Let, let, let that explode. Then we can get back out here. And like I said, they're gonna toss out all their stuff here. Autobomb's gonna go crazy. Then we go out the hammer. Maybe I, I did the hammer too soon, we'll see. I might be able to get somebody here. At the least, they're gonna stay away from this area, and that's nice. I can toss it over, and unfortunately didn't hit the moose so close to hitting them out. They got a good response from that one. So we lost control, but we already brought it all the way down to 52 in that time. We lost control again. I think it's not gonna be a good idea to jump there. The more I'm looking at that, the more I'm not feeling it. So instead, we will just toss that over, jump down like this. Somebody was up here. I don't know where exactly. But you know what, we're gonna reset. We're gonna go down here, and, oh hey, uh, they are really trying to get me right now, which I'd rather them waste their special on me than everybody else that should be coming over. Unfortunately, I still got spotted pretty bad there, and they're about to steal the lead, which is a little frustrating, but I think we just go back out normally like this again. And I try to do some more stuff here. Once again, ooh, if I can get you, if I can get you, ah, that really, really needed to not be a trade. But we have the lead, so you know what, maybe it's fine. Maybe it was just enough. Lost control, but it's a wipeout on our side. It is just everything all over the place, isn't it? I'm gonna cover this stuff up. It looks like I need to be really careful with this because you know, with that fog, it means that, oh man, oh man, where did you go? You were over here, and now you're over here. Hi, uh, uh, <laughs> that was the silliest thing ever. We were both just sort of not doing the best there. But luckily, it fell to my favor. We can help get you a little bit. I am just a little bit away. Hey, come on, get out of here. Ah, a little bit away from getting our hammer. We have the lead right now. We're at 25 points and counting downwards. Come on team, we got this. We're losing control for now, but we just take it right back, right? And then we won't have any reserve to worry about. So that'd be nice. Okay, here's our chance, here's our chance. Cover it up, oh, they got it. Okay, ah, and you got me. No. That really sinks. Now we have a reserve of 53 to work through, and that's gonna take us so much time. At this point, we might just wanna take it and just try to hold it for time. I don't know if that's gonna work super well for us, but I know you're gonna be up here, so let's try to get you, um, or not. Are you kidding me? I feel like that was weird that that didn't land a single shot, but okay. Lost control, I didn't even know we had control there. This is a roller coaster. We both have so many points to earn through, but technically for us, less than that is needed, so if I could just maybe, wait right there, splash you, because you were one of the ones that was giving me so much issue. And then, you don't seem to see me behind you, so I'm trying to work on that, but the triple strike coming in now, um, I guess I'll try to deal with you, but it's just the range, the range, I needed to let that person not get too far from me, but they did, and that really stinks. Okay, come on, I'll jump to you. Maybe not the best idea, because two people coming up from this side just might not do too much for us. If we all flood in from this way, it just sort of, ooh, that was good. Come on, got you. They lost control, we'll take control, and I'll get the hammer. See, this is where I wait. And I'm out of ink, gotta be very careful, but I can maybe just cause you problems. I don't know if I can get too much stud here. They are waiting for me over here. Ah, that didn't quite do it. Just fill up whatever they got. Only 10 remaining, oh man, for a reserve, that is. Okay, they are throwing in all their specials at once, and that is always such a good move, is when the, when the team throws all their specials in at once like that, because like, what do you do? When you're on the splat zone like that, there's only so much space to avoid it, so you just have to clear off the zone and come back in. 
Oh man, we're in control. We, oh man, no, the reserve is back. You're kidding me. So we got another 33, only getting two points of a lead there. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's a huge problem. But they only have 30 seconds to earn through all that. They could technically do it in time because it can just sort of force it to overtime. But if we can lose or take the control again, just find a way to spite the odds to make it happen with the tri being fired at us and everything else here. It's a mess. It's overwhelming, but we can maybe splat a couple people. Anybody, really, I'd prefer. Oh my goodness, every single time. <laughs> They're back in control, three seconds remaining. Take control now and we win. Oh man, overtime, don't let them do it. Come on, team. We gotta go, we gotta go right now. Oh yeah, we got it. Wow. I don't know who ended up making it happen, but that was huge, a great job. Whoa. Whew. Sort of holding my breath for that one. 83 to 81, quite the game. It is always so close in this map. So that is our fourth win in a row here for Splat Zones. I am giving it my all. And so far, it seems like our team is helping out too. They're giving it their all as well. Awesome. Let's try to go for one more here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do the best that time. I think that really just shows how well our teammates did that. And now we're sitting at a good spot. We don't need to win all five of them in a row. We just need to win five before we lose three. So the chances are pretty high we won't go on a three loss streak, I'd imagine. And we get our freshness level raised for this weapon all in the same episode. Things are going great. So let's go for one more. So we're back on Hagglefish Market. Things went really well the last time we were here. Can they go well again for our potential last and the final win to get a bunch of points? I would hope so. Either way, it's nothing to be too crazy stressed about. We can lose a couple of times, so I'm just not gonna get too in my own head about it. We'll toss one of those over there, but I think I wanna be really, really quick. We sneaking up on this side and just getting people like you, and then there, you're over there, so we're now in control. Excellent start with everything. And then I see you over this way, but you're going all over the place, and I sort of messed up my aiming. That's fine. Watch out over there, though. Our teammates might not know. Okay, never mind. they got them. That's good. Okay, so great start, already on the 75. I'm not gonna jump to anybody. Oh, they got a wipeout, booyah. That's great. So our team is on fire right now. Just trying to keep this lesson covered as we're already down to 50 points. I'm waiting for them to come in. I, I don't mind being the one who has to sort of sit in the back. And we wanna cover this stuff up with ink, just so it's more of a hassle for them to get over that way. I'll throw in one of those. With the crab tank coming in, this is my opportunity to sneak behind them. Okay, never mind. They were already spotted by the time I got there. Whoa, gotcha. That was huge, because we were about to use their special. So now that should be gone. And with 10 remaining, I think we just won this one. Look at that, so the most, uh, I guess, one-sided win for the last one. Oh my goodness, we destroyed them. That sort of feels like a shame. I, I never like a one-sided game, either win or lose, but I'm glad we were at least able to get it out of the way, right? So that was fantastic. And we got first spot. I didn't get a lot of medals that time, but I feel like that was sort of specifically because I was trying to watch our corners and stuff. I was playing that one more strategically than I was focusing on spots and stuff. So hey, pretty cool. With that, as you can see, not even a lot of points earned. Very quick in and out game. Look at all this. So we get ourselves 233 points. That's gonna get us up to rank B and we're pretty close to rank B plus. That is so exciting. Oh man, if we could do that again sometime, we'd already be at rank B plus. Okay, good to know, and a ton more experience there. What an episode it's been with the sploosh o -Matic. I definitely want to do more with this soon because it's a really fun weapon, but in the meantime, we have some coins to spend. We have over 36,000 of them, so our first play of the day is gonna get us some cool looking stickers. I like this. And then over this way, we can also talk to Jen. Wow, Splatoon is like the Splatoon of Stamper. Stamper are main weapons that can fling a powerful arc of ink. Press CR to do a horizontal slash or hold it and release to send ink flying with a charge slash. Also, when you do a charge slash, if you tilt forward on L, you do a powerful rush attack. Splatoon slice up targets nicely. Go see for yourself. Okay, I guess we're doing some Splatoon stuff. So break targets with Splatoon and quickly press and release ZR for a horizontal spot slash, or we can hold and release for a long slash and we can hold forward and do that one. There you go, we did it. We've of course already showcased that weapon, I'm pretty sure. Didn't do the best with it, not really my kind of weapon, but still cool to see it. Let's go check out, I don't know why I left here, because all I need to do is pause, 
or whatever button it is and go to the shops. So we'll check out the headgear and whatever else might be here because I did not check this out last episode. Okay, so anything cool to buy? We do have this uh, face visor. We try these on. Pretty cool, it's very bulky. I do like, you know, more simple, the short beanie, but I might want to wait until it has like more stars or something. Um, ooh, we do have uh, quite a few cool things here, but most of them I have already. What about the red battle crab shell? Sure, why not? You know, might as well grab that. Then over on this side, there's only one shoe I have. Really, maybe we've bought everything. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I guess that's a good thing though, right? I don't know. Either way, we, we can at least buy some things here. Our catalog level did go up, so we do get some extra cards here for table turf battle. We get the Barazushi. Everything else is a repeat. Okay, what else can we grab here? The pink squid cushion I already have one of. I don't have any of the Volley Volley Panic. I think this is probably a MAGA, so we'll, we'll get that. And I don't think we'll buy anything else. Oh, the skateboard is cool, but that is so expensive. Can't get that this time. I also like this graffiti, but we'll, we'll get some more of it soon. For right now, that was our look at the splish matic I had a ton of fun with this weapon. Definitely let me know your thoughts on it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.